Hi boys and girls, welcome to art class. Today's lesson is painting a background for one of these polar animals. We will talk more about the animals next art class. Today's lesson focuses on using the warm color family and the cool color family. Warm is red, orange, and yellow. Cool is purple, blue, and green. If you divide a color wheel in half, you can see how the colors are side by side like neighbors. This is the warm family that we'll be using to represent a sunrise or a sunset in the sky. And the cool colors, that's what we'll be using for the icy cold water. Kids at school, we will be using this type of paint. If you are at home, you could use watercolor paint. And at the end of this video, I will give you an option for using crayons and show you how to do that. We're going to begin by doing just a little bit of drawing, starting with four dots near the corners of the paper. If you can use a black Sharpie or a black crayon, that is best. Those things will not smear when they get wet. So connect those four dots to make a frame or a border for your work. We're going to divide the middle section into three parts. So part one is near the bottom of the paper with a horizontal line. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. Now the bottom part of the paper, that's going to be the icy, snowy glacier. Moving up a little bit, I'm going to make another line going across the paper. The section in the middle will be the icy cold water. That's where I will use these cool colors. And then the top portion, that will be the sky. And that's where I'll use my warm colors for a sunrise or a sunset. So when we use water, we always want to just give the brush a little wipe on the side of the cup. You don't tap it don't tap the paintbrush. You wipe it on the side and then you s put the brush in the first color and just get the tip of that brush a little bit wet. And when you are painting today, try to paint with the very tippy tip tip of the brush. So hold it like a pencil, hold your paintbrush straight and tall and start in the corner and just put your first warm color across the top of that sky. You may use those warm colors, red, orange, and yellow, to paint that sky however you would like. Here in my example, I'm going to show you how to put it on in stripes, maybe even doing it as a pattern. Red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow. If you wanted to try something else, then of course you can. Always rinse your brush out between colors and always wipe it on the side of the cup and always try to paint with the tippy tip tip of the paintbrush. Take a look at the middle part of this painting. For the middle section, we will be using the cool colors. Blue, purple and green. The colors can go on in horizontal stripes. You can put the colors on in a pattern. You may use whatever kind of idea you would like to put on the blue, purple, and green, but make sure that you are sticking with just the cool colors. Kids at home, if you do not have paint that you can use, of course you could just use crayons or markers. The main idea is using the warm colors on the top for the sky and the cool colors in the middle for the icy cold water. Next art class, we will work more on putting an animal on top of our painting. I hope you have a great day.